Welcome back. As we've said, questions are swirling about whether there will be a delay in Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation and whether we hear publicly from Judge Kavanaugh and his accuser. Joining me now is Illinois Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth. Senator, thank you for taking a few minutes. You did tweet this out earlier. I can put this up on the screen. Say these allegations are disturbing and deserve to be investigated before Kavanaugh's nomination moves forward. The Senate committee must delay Thursday's scheduled vote. Thank you, Dr. Ford, for bra bravely coming forward to share your story. So you want the delay. Uh, my question is, do you want, there seems to be some debate here about how her allegations should be aired. Do you want a full public hearing, similar to what we saw with Anita Hill and Clarence Thomas in 1991, where they both appear before the committee in full public session, cameras rolling? I think the public deserves to hear in, from um, certainly Dr. Ford in a full public hearing. They've been hearing a lot from uh, Judge Kavanaugh so far. I think she deserves her day uh, in a public setting. I think that American people deserve nothing less, especially when we're talking about appointing someone to a position um, for the rest of their life uh, the, into the highest court in the land. In terms of the timetable, then, what is reasonable here? Thinking back to, to 91, the Anita Hill allegation came out on the 6th of October. The committee reconvened for more hearings. They were held the 12th to 14th, basically a week later. Is that roughly the timetable you have in mind here when you talk about a delay in hearings? Well, I think that we should take whatever amount of time we need in order to have the uh, thorough hearing. We don't, shouldn't rush it. I'm sure there might be other witnesses. And remember, um, as far as the hearing is concerned, that's not the only thing that needs to happen. Uh, we need to have the FBI fully investigate uh, the allegations as well. Your, uh, uh, one of your colleagues there in the Senate, Chuck Grassley, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, he uh, addressed this topic today, and he's, he's noncommittal right now in terms of uh, the action he's going to take, but he's trying to put some of the onus back on Democrats, back on your party, specifically Dianne Feinstein. Of course, Dianne Feinstein had been given uh, this allegation over the summer. She kept it uh, to herself in her office until the last week. Grassley basically saying, unfortunately, committee Republicans have only known this person's identity from news reports for less than 24 hours and known about her allegations for less than a week. Senator Feinstein, on the other hand, has had this information for many weeks and deprived her colleagues of the information necessary to do our jobs. Do you think he has a point there? Well, I think he's missing the point that this was all at the uh, request of Dr. Ford herself. You know, I've dealt with military sexual trauma, women who've been victims of sexual trauma in the military. And this is a common thing for victims, that they uh, are very reluctant to come forward. And you read the text of the letter that Dr. Ford sent uh, to Senator Feinstein. She was very clear that she did not want to come forward. She herself has said that she didn't make that decision until just this very weekend. So I don't know that uh, Senator Feinstein had the ability Ability to share that information with anybody else. But now that Dr. Ford has taken the very brave step of coming forward and willing to expose herself to public scrutiny, she should be honored for her bravery, but she should also be listened to as a potential victim. Uh, we don't want to set a bad example for victims all around this country in this time when uh, women and men also are coming forward to talk about the sexual assault that, they under, that, that they've been victims of and, and to really scare people from coming forward if they truly have become victims of a crime. Yeah, I, I think that's an interesting point you're making uh, because there has been, I, I'd seen at least initially, it, it may be where it may be dying down a little bit right now, but uh, some pretty loud criticism on the left, at least initially, uh, of Dianne Feinstein and, and her decision not to turn that information over to make it public uh, initially. In, in her situation, is that how you would handle it if you, were, if you were given information from a woman who said, this happened to me, I, I'm telling you about it, but I, I don't want you telling your colleagues, I don't want you bringing it up in these, in these hearings, is that how you would handle it? I would certainly uh, uh, handle it much the same way. That is, I would turn over the information to the FBI, which I understand Senator Stein has done, but I would first and foremost honor the victim. Uh, remember that sexual crimes are a crime of power, and we have to uh, really protect the victim first and foremost and, and let her know that she controls, she has the power in this situation. If she doesn't want to come forward publicly, then she has that decision to make, and that's her right to do that. And again, I just want to thank Dr. Ford for her bravery in this last uh, moment to come forward because uh, she truly believed that she's compelled to do the right thing, even at her own personal expense. 
I'm just curious, uh, being around there today as all this unfolds, what is your sense of sort of the, just politically speaking here, the, the, the state of play on this right now? Do you, do you sense Republicans are staying together and determined to, to, to get this through on a speedy timetable? Do you sense that there are cracks there? What is your read on the situation? Well, you know, I, I've, we're all just getting back into town right now. Um, I've not had a chance to really talk to any of my Republican colleagues so far. I would just hope that they would react in the same way to this situation as they would have um, over uh, the last, uh, uh, you know, months and year over um, the Me Too movement with women coming forward with the allegations of sexual misconduct. Um, I would hope that certainly the women of the Senate would come together and support a woman who's coming forward in a very difficult time, Dr. Ford, uh, to make these allegations. Uh, we need to make sure that we support her first and foremost and that we take these allegations very seriously. This is the, this is the United States Senate. If we don't take this seriously, then who will in the rest of this country? We have to set an example for the rest of the nation that uh, we will not uh, uh, dismiss a victim's claims, that we will not whitewash and, 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 and sweep under the rug a victim uh, of sexual misconduct just for the convenience of a timetable. That's not the right thing to do here. All right. Tammy Duckworth, Democratic Senator.